The New York Giants and Darnay Holmes have agreed to make a reunion happen. Darnay Holmes has agreed to a one-year deal to once again be a part of the New York football Giants. We're going to break that down on today's show, but there are still other positions the Giants need to address, and I still think outside corner is a position they need to add talent to. So we'll show you other free agent targets at that position, but this is why you subscribe to the channel, because if the Giants make a move, if the Giants do anything, we're going to get you guys a video as soon as possible. So subscribe and turn your notifications on. And if you are subscribed, drop a real one down in the comment section. Today's Giants Now video is presented by 8sleep. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping. Invest in the rest that you deserve. We'll tell you more about eight sleep around the corner, but let's get to the news of the day of the, as the Giants have re-signed Darnay Holmes. He has agreed to a one-year deal to come back and play football for the Giants. This is a good move for the Giants. I'm expecting it to be a one-year deal for very low guaranteed money. I wouldn't even be shocked if it was for the veteran minimum. But what a turnaround it's been for Holmes. We talked about all last offseason, all of the rumors, all of the Giants beat reporters talked about how the Giants were going to have to cut Darnay Holmes to save around three and a half, four million dollars. He gets through that. He takes a pay cut, pretty much goes from three and a half million to the veteran minimum to stick around and play football for this team. And he gets another contract with Joe Shane. Good for Darnay Holmes. He earned it. Look at what he's done in his NFL career since being drafted by the Giants out of UCLA. This is a guy that predominantly plays in the slot. Didn't even play all that much last year for the Giants. Only 123 snaps compared to 572 snaps in 2022. Played in only 11 games in 2021, but still had a good share of snaps at 282. His rookie year was probably his best year, though, in the NFL. 30 tackles, 5 PBUs, 1 INT, and 442 snaps. Pro football focus is not all too kind to Darnay Holmes. I think if you're a Giants fan and you've watched some Giants football, you know what Holmes is as a player. He is your average slot corner. There's a reason that his PFF grades have never been higher than 64. 48 as a rookie, 55 as a second-year guy, 43 as third year, 63 this past year. But I think that's a little bit skewed because he didn't play all that much. Had a solid coverage grade at 68.7. But my favorite thing about him is he's not afraid. He's never scared. He'll match up against CeeDee Lamb in the slot. Maybe hold a little bit too much and get called for a couple too many penalties, but he's not afraid. And he's also a guy that can slide in the box or really play close to the box in that slot corner and defend the run. And we know Shane Bowen loves to run these dime and nickel packages with multiple DBs on the field. And when you do that, you obviously need to be DBs that can cover, but you need DBs as well that will come in and commit to stopping the run. Holmes, never afraid to go make a tackle inside the box or near around the line of scrimmage. A slot corner is what he is, though. So the Giants still need help at this outside corner position. He's only played 135 snaps in four years as that outside CB, where he predominantly lives in the slot. Almost 1,200 snaps there. The Giants, they didn't need it to slot corner position. It'll be a battle once again between uh, Cordell Flott and Darnay Holmes to see who will be that starting slot corner. And it's going to be an interesting competition. I think Holmes will still have to earn a roster spot on this team, go through camp uh, as well as the preseason and get a spot. But I like bringing a guy back that knows what, it be, knows what it means and what it is to be a New York Giant. And I'm glad he's back with this football team. We'll break down everything else about free agency. And I'll show you some guys the Giants should sign at the outside corner position. But we're about a week and a half into free agency. So get out the red pen and be honest with me. Grade the Giants free agency so far, A, B, C, D, or F. I like the addition of Holmes. One year, cheap money, low risk. I'll call it a decent reward if he does play. I mean, if he plays well, it'd be a great reward. But they absolutely still need help as out, that at, out, uh, as out at the outside corner position. They need help there, no doubt about it. You have Deontay Banks. I like what he did as a rookie. I think he's going to continue to get better in this league, and I think he has CB1 potential. I think he's going to be good for a really long time. But outside of him, you take a look at the other corners on this team, outside of Darnay Holmes, not a lot of 
production in the National Football League. I think Nick McLeod's a good player. He'll compete at that slot corner as well, but he's really a guy that can play every DB position. He cross-trained at safety this offseason, and he's a really good special teams player. Cordell Flott was a third-round pick in 2022. Hasn't necessarily lived up for the hype, except for that one PBU on K.J. Osborne. I was begging for Flott to win the slot corner job last year in the offseason. He just did not do so. Trey Hawkins, he showed me he's not an NFL corner yet, being a sixth-round pick out of Old Dominion. And Aaron Robinson didn't play in 2023, and he barely played in 2022. So the only guys that I think you can actually depend on are Banks, Holmes, McLeod, and Flott. The Giants absolutely need to go out and sign another veteran corner. That's what I would do, a proven player at that position. Some of the top guys on in free agency still left at that play outside corner. Xavier Howard is one of my top guys available. Still just 30 years old. Still has some good football left in front of him. It's the ball skills that I love about Xavier Howard. He's led the NFL in interceptions before. And I think having a veteran like him help a guy like um, – Deontay Banks would help this football team a lot. If you don't want to sign Howard, maybe you want to allocate some more resources to it. Stephon Gilmore is actually my number one CB target for the Giants. The only thing is, I don't know if they're going to have the dollars to make him uh, agree to a deal. I think he's still really good. I thought he played well for the Cowboys last year. Not the elite corner he once was. Not the Hall of Famer he once was. But you could have him and Banks. I think that helped a lot. And like we talked about with Howard, if Gilmore could just be in the room with Banks and Banks could benefit from that for just a year, I think that would go a long way in his maturation as an NFL player. Tredavious White is set to meet with the New York Giants this week. He's going to meet with the Tennessee Titans as well, former Buffalo Bill, 29 years old. But the problem with White is the availability. He's played in just 21 games in the last three seasons, and we know the Giants have placed an importance on dependability. But low risk, potential high reward. I'll sign him to a one-year deal, $5 million, two-and-a-half guaranteed, and uh, incentives up to five. When he plays, he's still really good. He just hasn't done it all that much, just 21 times in the last three years. Another play I'm going to keep my eye on in free agency is Christian Fulton, the corner out of LSU that was drafted by the Tennessee Titans. Shane Bowen, defensive coordinator for the Giants, comes over from Tennessee, so he has a relationship with Christian Fulton. If he thinks he's a good player and he thinks he's a good person, He'll play for the Giants. One year, cheap deal. I think it makes a lot of sense. I had Avante Maddox listed in this as well, but I think the need for him maybe is not nearly as strong as what it was just three hours ago. Maddox is a guy that plays out of the slot. Giants just added a guy that operates out of the slot in Holmes. They also have McLeod and Flott. Maybe they don't look for a veteran in the slot position, but if they are, I think Maddox is the best available. We're going to recap every move the Giants have made in free agency around the corner but kickstart the year fully charged. Big shout out to today's presenting sponsor, 8sleep. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get free shipping and $200 off the pod cover. Invest in the rest that you deserve. All that information will be clickable down in the comments and description of today's show. 8sleep is the high-tech solution to your age-old sleeping issues. 8sleep's pod 3 cover slips right over your mattress, bringing heating and cooling tech that keeps you comfortable and sleeping deeper for a better, more restful night. I love 8sleep because it has totally stopped my night sweats. I'm a guy that even when it's freezing outside, I need the fan on, and I'll still sometimes sweat. That was until I got hooked up with 8sleep. The pod cover will improve your sleep by automatically adjusting your bed's temperature based on your individual needs. The cover can be added to any bed like a fitted sheet and allows you and your partner to cool or warm your side of the bed as low as 55 degrees, and it can heat up to up to 110 degrees. In addition to keeping you at the perfect temperature all night, the pod also tracks your sleep and health met metrics. On average, pod users see their sleep quality improve by 32% after just a month on the pod. Go to 8sleep.com slash chat sports and get $200 off plus free shipping. Invest in the rest you deserve. All that information, I'll put it down in the comments. And because we love and care about you, we will make it clickable as well. 8sleep.com slash chat sports. Get hooked up with them. 8sleep. Invest in the rest that you deserve. All righty. Joe Shane was active on day one of NFL free agency. And he's made a couple of big signings and a couple of splash moves. He really tried to bolster the special teams on the early part of free agency. Special teams, special players. Casey Kreider, the long snapper, he's going to be back with the Giants on a one-year deal. Gunnar Olszewski, also going to be back with the Giants. He's a kick returner. I don't expect for him to play much at that wide receiver position. And he really helped the Giants at that spot. I feel like they were one of the worst punt returning teams in the league. He at least just caught the football. So I don't have to yell at Sterling Shepard 
or Richie James or anybody else dropping the football. John Runyon, one of the big signs the Giants made. They invest in the interior offensive lineman. Hopefully Runyon can be a big part of this offense going forward. And you replace number 26, the old running back that now plays for the Eagles, a coward, Devin Singletary. Three-year deal, $15.9 million, $9.5 million guaranteed. He's not as talented as the former back that played here. But in my opinion, he runs harder and he fits this scheme a little bit better because he'll put his head down and he'll go get you four, five, six yards when you need to. Not afraid of contact. Not as explosive, but a really good running back and one of the best stories in the NFL last year. Carter Coughlin comes back to the Giants at a one-year deal. Gives him a little bit of depth at that linebacker position. But like we talked about with Olszewski and Kreider, he is a special team specialist. He'll help him in that department. One of my favorite signings of the offseason is Jermaine Illuminor. I actually think Illuminor is the best offensive lineman the Giants signed in free agency. I like his ability to play guard, and I like his ability to play tackle. I think he'll start as your right guard. Neal will be your starting right tackle. But if Evan struggles, he'll be benched. You move Illuminor to right tackle, and then a guy like Marcus McKeithen or Joshua Zudu goes to that right guard position. Obviously love the addition of Brian Burns. Don't have to say too much about him. He's a stud. He's 25, and he'll be here for a long time. And my guy, Drew Locke, shout out Young Jeezy. He is a giant. Can't wait to watch him play some football this year. The kid can spin it. I'm telling you guys, the kid can spin it. And he ain't scared to throw it downfield. And it's the first time I'm really pumped up to watch the New York Giants preseason football. Jalen Mills comes over for, uh, to the Giants from the New England Patriots, but most notably known for his time with the Philadelphia Eagles. He can play slot corner. He can play outside corner. But he's mainly a guy that operates in the deep half of the secondary now. Also someone that's not afraid to go in and mix it up on run defense. I like the addition to him. Isaiah McKenzie, um, full details to be announced. I had heard it's a one-year veteran minimum deal. He'll have to earn a spot on this roster. Gives you some familiarity with Brian Dable dating back to the Buffalo days. And he's also a return specialist. Jack Stoll and Chris Manhurts. The Giants, they beef up that tight end room with some blockers. Neither of these guys are big-time receiving threats, but they are two of the better blocking tight ends in this league. Crazy stat about Chris's 380 snaps last year as a tight end, 300 of them were blocking. He's pretty much your third offensive tackle on the field. Aaron Stinney comes over from the Tampa Bay Buccaneers to the Giants, started some games for them last year, played pretty well, and you also get Austin Schlotman coming over from the Minnesota Vikings. He could play guard, he could play center. So you go out and sign your two starters in Runyon and Illuminor, and you get some actual NFL talent. On the backup offensive line in the interior, Stinney and Schlotman like those additions. And the news of the day, Darnay Holmes, he's going to sign a one-year deal with the New York Giants, give you some familiarity um, back in that defensive back room. Hopefully Jerome Henderson can get the most out of them this year. Interested to see how he plays in a, in a uh, Shane Bowen defense as well. Name a player you want the Giants to sign next. I'm looking at the outside corner position. They're going to bring in Tredavious White for a visit. I'm hoping it's Stephon Gilmore. I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, I wouldn't even mind Xavier and Howard. But I think another outside corner is what the Giants need most. But let me know what you think because I'm curious what all the real ones have to say. Shout out to everybody that tuned in. We appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up icon if you haven't. And if you also haven't, give me a follow over on social media at Marshall Green underscore on Twitter and Instagram. And let's go Big Blue.